Welcome to Cujo Sound, about the sound design in dark, part two. Welcome to Cujo Sound, and this is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and I am the sound designer of the newly released video game called Dark. And in this video, I'll be going over one of the levels of the game, and I'll explain the sound design as much as I can and as detailed as I can. I really hope you will enjoy it. Check out this level. Right, so here we are back at the very beginning again. Let's go to sleep. Go to the apartment. No. And go to the gears level, which is the very first level of dark. noises of that bed is basically just me laying on some cardboard and tweaking some things some springs and stuff and some cloth sounds that I found in the library now if we sort of add the that, uh, that boomy sound to it it's an 808 kick drum and a sine wave probably going from 150 down to about 20 Hertz added some other layers of very deep and hard material that's booming very long reverbs and compression limitation eq and maybe some more compression the point being that adding all that to it then there is this uh, glitch 2 plugin on top by kieran foster which is really nice and you can control it quite a lot now on this level, this is where some of the first subtle hints to some story stuff is happening because this is where, even though this is not the hospital level, you might notice here in the background there's this beepy sound. And that's actually because all the ambient noises in this level is recorded at a hospital, which is various recordings that I made at Hallo Hospital here in Denmark. My daughter was born there. Well, my second daughter was born there. The, the first one was born in a different hospital. But lots of noises from there. The beeping sound I did create myself, though, with some um, some uh, just simple simple sine waves put together and then with a small, um, small delay between them. Kind of easy to do. And then when you put it all together, it kind of sounds like a hospital. It was the first reference to that like the ambient sounds and everything in this world is different from the world that you're actually in it's like there's a connection between you and someplace else that's as much hinted as it's going to be all right so this is where it gets kind of really noisy and there's some really hard panning going on but the whole point is that all these mechanical sounds they are really weird bendy metal noises and stuff being twisted and stuff at the junkyard a junkyard that i went to to record stuff actually it's a library that i might be putting out i guess it'll be ultimate junkyard or something like that uh, i don't know when we'll actually go there and do the final recording they promised us that we could smash a whole car and record a car being trashed in their metal compressor and stuff so that'll be kind of cool but anyway once we touch this button here the bridge will come up and that's a lot a lot of weird noises that's from this junkyard but also of course there is some library stock material of mechanical parts that's just moving twisted and pitched up pitched down changed in a lot of different ways we'll check this out it's really hard panned but there's a point to that because the object of where it's happening is right here like the emitter is right here in the center of the bridge and the attenuation is kind of small kind of short um, and we just never got around to really fixing that I but that's that's it's just I, it doesn't matter really anyway here we are this is where the game gets kind of interesting because we can go here around here Notice how the reverberation of these footsteps change depending on where we go. This is slightly different depending on where we are, big or small rooms and so on. And these are all hard coded into it because the reverb plugin in FMOD, uh, we didn't like the sound of that one. So we, we hard coded assets that has the right reverberation to it. I think we have small, medium and large rooms and that's it. And so all assets have been gone through the same batch process that does it for us. Now notice as we pick up this item here, we will have 
a special pickup sound that goes in and out following the UI and then the actual icon of what we're picking up has this unique noise. So every item that we pick up will have this unique sound to it. Right. The breathing sound in the background is put there by the developer, by Vlat and other developers, uh, because that's a triggered part that I had nothing to do with, uh, and, as, and voice recording is not something that I did. But the point here being that, that they could add events like these to the game without consulting me, and I didn't have to consult them about it either, so that sped up our process of development. It was a really, really cool way to do it, um, so that they could maintain their creative freedom in terms of doing that, and I was, we, we were like, we trusted each other very much about sounds going in. Now here, there's actually really loud background ambience, which is kind of cool. Um, various sounds fading in and out, which is very long reverbs. Um, I don't remember which material I use for this, but it's really cool. Anyway. Same thing when we pick up this item. The noise will be the same, and the item will be the same, because we already picked up a gear before. Clickety noises in a loop. And this is basically mechanical sounds moving in and out. Uh, there's some air pressure coming out, which is just a Coca-Cola bottle being opened and reversed uh, and faded up and down and pitched up and down in, um, with an envelope so that it, it goes up and down correctly. And here we can try and move these things about here. Here you can also hear the background noise, which is a uh, heartbeat that's kind of interesting the same way as it's done in the opera level that we'll get to in not too long where there's a like a, kind of like a, a beat to it a heartbeat and it's it's compressing some other layer that's there so that we get this pumpy feeling of and it's it's very stereotypical techno-ish to do so but I really enjoy that kind of sound, the pumpiness of it. I use it quite a lot, actually. I guess it's kind of like kind of a, a typical sound that I really enjoy doing. Cinder blocks dropping on the ground and a key, a key being dropped on some metal or concrete background at the old CD Projekt Red office parking lot. Here we are. Forget the key. Let's go. All these me mechanical sounds in one level, they're all basically made out of the same base material, uh, just to make sure that everything is kind of like the same. Uh, on another level, they might be made out of different mechanical sounds, but with the same processing, so that they're same-ish, fits the audio direction, but not necessarily different. All right. Last puzzle that I'm going to show you on this level. Here. Also just cinder blocks that I'm dropping on the ground. So the door here. And just basic clicks and so on. And these are loops. There's a start sound and a loop and a stop sound. I know the loop of this item moving is really, really short, but it's the easiest way of doing it because if you don't have the exact timing of each movement, then it's easier to do it in the, let's say, uh, middleware processing way by combining it into, into objects like start, loop, and stop sound instead of having one sound that's hard-coded. There we go.
standard electric noises. We have these lamp ladies. So they're made out of an old architect's lamp in my apartment that I was moving about. Makes this really stereotype electric lamp noise. Not electric, uh, mechanical lamp movement noise. And the breathing sound is as every other monster in this game. Just me breathing, saying weird noises into the microphone. And it works really well. I mean, it's, it's a really easy way of doing it. That just, you can check out some videos that are other videos that I posted about how to do these breathing sounds. It's, it's fun stuff. And here we are. Little boy Flulteron is running. probably 10 years of reverberation on them and that's it for the gears level really hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching this session on kujo sound about how the sound design in dark was made if you like this video why not hit the like and subscribe button or even better if you want to help me sustain this channel head over to patreon.com forward slash kujo sound where you for as little as one dollar a month can help me sustain this channel you will also gain access to the kujo sound discord channel and many other things where you'll be able to connect with fellow both professional and aspiring sound designers i hope to see you again in the next video Thank you for watching again, and this is Bjorn Jacobson signing out.